So before you are working with the CMake, you need to install CMake in your uh, OS or in your operating system. So in Ubuntu, it is like uh, sudo apt install CMake. So but in my case, I have already installed uh, CMake and you can see the version is 3.22.1. So let's go into the source code. So here I have main.cpp, add.cpp and add.h. So in add.h, I have a declaration of addition and in add.cpp, I have a definition for addition. And in main.cpp have I'm calling this function at 20, 20 and 30 and then the sum of 20 and 30 is something like this. And also I have uh, included this app.h. So now let's see how can we compile with cmake. So for that one what you have to do is like you need to create cmake .txt. And the file name should be always same. So it should be, it should follow the same convention whatever I'm showing here. And also you can install some of the one of the extension called CMake tools, so which is from Microsoft, which will be helpful in uh, getting the intelligence for your CMake. Okay, so now let's start. So the first thing what you have to do is you need to mention like what is the minimum version required for this CMake. CMake minimum required and you need to mention version and take out this one 3.22. So copy and paste it here. So what is this one? So let's close. Okay, so then next thing is like you need to give some name to your project. So my name is like maybe hello world. So this is my project name. So then in order to compile uh, this one, so what we have to do is, so add executable and executable here name is header dot by default, main dot cpp and add dot cpp. So that's it. So let me do ls. So this build is automatically created from the text extension, whatever we have installed. Let me delete that one. So now we have CMake text. So how can we build this one and how can we compile this one? So basically CMake works in two steps. So first time it will generate the make file for the uh, operating system which you are using. By default, it will be a Unix make file system which will automatically get generated for the Linux operating systems. So let's see how can we do that. First you can create make directory build. So this is where you are generating this CMake or the make files. So let me execute CMake dot. So now if you go and do ls, here you can see the make file is automatically get generated. In order to do it is like a regular command make. Just you give make. Then a dot is working. So that's it. Now this is one way of building a CMake. Now let me remove this rm minus rf and build. So let me see what is other way. So other way is like what you can give is cmake hyphen b and you can specify a build directory. So it automatically generate a build directory for you. You no need to create. So now that's it. It is done. When you do ls, so the build directory is generated. I'll go to the build directory and here you can see ls, the make file is generated. Now there is two ways you can build it. One is like simply do make here. So it automatically makes and uh, there is another way. The other way is like come out from this build directory and execute specify the directory where you are building. So since it is already built you now, so it is time to compile. It is time to do again. So let me remove build. So, so it has created a directory called the build directory. So let me do I can even build, I can build. So now it created data out. So my executable is present in the build directory. So this is a, a regular way of building. So now let me re-modify this, some of these files and create some folder. Let's see how can we work with that one. So now let's create a library for this android.cpp and head.h. So let me create a new folder. Let's name this one as a lib. So I'll move these two things into this lib folder. Now. I have uh, moved this one into this slip folder. Now let's create a library for this addition. So I'll go here. So how can we create a library? So that is very easy. So let's do add library. And what is your library name? The output name should be add. And what is the source? That is add.cpp. Since add.cpp has moved into this lib, so let me give lib right slash. Now this one will generate uh, a library for us. So now for this executable, we need, just we uh, need main.cpp, then we need to link this one, right? Target link libraries. So then my target is a dot out, and what I have to link, add. 
So that's it. So now let's try to recompile. R minus R F build directory. C make hyphen B build. So we have build it. We have created the make function. So let me try to build. So here you can see this add dot h. We are getting some error. So in the main dot cpp where you can see this add dot h is uh, we are getting error because it is moved into something called lib directory right so there is two way to fix so one is either you can give lib right slash like this and recompile it so then it works so but that is a bad way of looking at this one right so it does not look proper so what you can do is so you can go it here what you can do for this target add include directory target include directories so my target is a data what is the directory i want to input that is lib let me add it here and also you need to specify whether it's a public private or interface so in, in this class simply let's uh, see whether it's, it's only public so no need to bother about this one so let's assume it is a public one so let me go and build see main build build so can you see now so it is automatically generated data out and it is working fine 20 30 and 50. now let's go into this uh, build directory cd build directory and there is one uh, lib.h here you can see by default it has generated a static library for you so what if you want to generate a shared library and it is very simple what you have to do is add library you give shared here that's it come back and she make build so here you can see it has generated s4 that is a shared library so this is how you can build a shared library for this one so now let's uh, make it like a um, some other uh, much more complex and let's see how can we do with the real project so in real project it won't be like this right so what we can do is let me introduce uh, one more folder called src so let's move my main to this one. I moved my main to this. Now here you can see that main.cpp is giving error because it has moved inside main.cpp. So let me recompile and execute. Let's go back. See main build build. So now here you can see this a dot out is getting generated. Now what we can do is like in this add dot edge. So since this add.h is exposed to all the source directory, so let me create one more folder called inc. So let's move this add.h to here. Now let me try to rebuild it. So now here you can see in add.cpp it is giving it error because add.cpp in here this add.h is moved to include directory. So one of the ways like you can do include something like this so but that is not a good way of doing right so for the thing what we can do is so here you can go add library so we are generating this library similarly we can give target link directory for that library as well so where is my include directory so it is link and include so let's give agency so here i have seen we have to give like public now the main.cpp is also need of uh, this one right and dot h so in the main.cpp also add dot h is required so for that one also this include library is needed so now i think everything looks fine let me recompile add dot h again it is telling fatal add dot h no source or directory is present lib add dot h we are given everything sorry i have to give include directory not a link director. Let me give it here. Let me build. See now it's building fun. Everything is working fine. So, but you had seen like here uh, it is uh, very difficult to do such kind of things. No. So here I am adding this library and uh, including the target and doing all this stuff, blah blah, and all those things. So every time we need, we need to do all this stuff. So let's make it uh, much more simpler. So what is the other way you can do is you can introduce CMake into each of this directory itself. So let me go and create. So here you can add only add library and your uh, target is add dot 
and and the source code is entered CPP. And here you want to include this one, just and your target is add and you want to include and that's it it is finished so now similarly we'll come to this source directory let's create one more cmake here and here let me do add executable and my target is here at all main.cpp now we want to link this one what what is the command target link libraries so a out and for this one i want to link add now one more target include directories so now we have a dot out and let's make it public and here you can see the cmake is presented here what you have to do is go dot dot lib then inc now we have uh, made it like split it the cmake into two parts one cmake is for this one generating this library and one cmake for generating this binary so now you go to this main target I remove this one simply add subdirectories so one subdirectory is lib and another subdirectory is src so now let me go and rebuild so targeting to directory with the invalid argument so let me go here so here I did not even public so let me give public so let me rebuild so now here you can see add.cpp it is telling add.h does not form so why because uh, let's put this one so let's fix this one it is not a lib input it is direct input so let me rebuild see now everything is working fine right out now here you can see this target input directory here also we need to add and here also we need to add and here it is simpler so let me make it much more simple let me go here so I'll remove this entire thing and here also go and remove this one and come to main dot this one since source directory and lib directory both needs this include add dot h let me do something called include directories it is not target include directories it is just include directories include directories g lib inc that's it so let me rebuild so everything is working fine build so and one more thing like whenever uh, this folder structure is altered and if you go to build directory there is the folder the same folder structure is maintained in the build directory as well so you need to go inside this clip to see the library and since we did not mention shared it is static so let me come back and let me go to source and here you can see head out so i can execute head out so now let's come out and see now you might be thinking like library should be built and then after it should be linked with the source code but that is not the case with the cmake you can jumble this one as well you can do it other way so let me rebuild cmake i can be build and cmake build did you see here so it automatically generated even though i had given to compile add the subdirectory as a source first before even compiling the library so that is working fine so that is the beauty of scene now apart from all these things so what is the uh, one more uh, thing about uh, cmake is you can go to build directory and you can execute make as well so it will automatically make it you can do make clean like your regular make and you can again make and it will uh, build inside inside a dot out so here you can see this a dot out is executed apart from this one what you can do is go to something called make help you can do and it will show what are all the things you can do with this one so here you can see make clean make all by default this is will do the make all and there is one more thing called make a dot out so all these things you can do make a dot out let's see so it is building a dot out then there is something called make add so before that let's clean let's do only make add see here it built it built only this library now let's again do make clean and try to make a data did you see here so first it has built this uh, lib a data h and then it is building a data so your entire make is ready for you so even you can go further into this folder and there is one more make here 
So yeah, you can execute make click. Here you can see all these things. Let's do make click. And inside this one, you, here you can see you can do make add. It will generate a um, uh, the library for you. And you can, if you want to see the assembly, you do add dot s. So let's go here and yeah. Here you can see the assembly code of that library is automatically get generated. So with this help, you can use uh, make uh, like a regular make file system, or you can use a CMake how we were showing earlier, like using CMake and then I can build and I can build. So this is also you can do. Sorry, make sure this. So this one also you can do. So both the way you can do. So that is the beauty of the CMake. And uh, one more thing, like I want to tell you is like with the CMake system, you can build, you can create a make file for different build system. So what does it mean is like uh, let me remove this CMake hyphen G. Simply you do hyphen G. So here you can see by default it uses Unix make file system. It generates a Unix make file system. So like that there is like Ninja build system and there is Eclipse. So here you can see there is a Eclipse CDT. You can generate a make file for the Eclipse. So directly you can import this project and you can uh, execute in the uh, Eclipse as well. So you can uh, import the uh, Eclipse project as well. So like that, even with the CMake, you can generate. There are so many generators. So here you can see, I will go here CMake generators. So these are all the supported CMake generators. You can create a make file for the Borland and the Ninja Builder and ID tool. So you can generate a make file for your ID as well. And you, you, here you can see for Visual Studio project also you can generate. You can generate a CMake and it can be imported for the for your Visual Studio. And uh, you can compile the Visual Studio as well. So these are all the Eclipse CDT and all those things. And here if you go here, so this is the way you have to give when you are trying to build for uh, Visual, Visual Studio. So you give i g and Visual Studio, this one you can give. So then it will build a make file which is compatible for this Visual Studio. Similarly, it can build a make file compile, uh, compatible for the Eclipse, code block, code light, etc. So uh, I think uh, this is uh, what about uh, today's CMake thing. So I think hope you have uh, learned something about CMake. So if you like this video, please share and subscribe.